Sorry for the camera angle. I don't have a tripod. I wasn't planning this video and I'm not home right now. Uh, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know about something. So, I, you know, I truly believe in free and open source software, but I also believe in the freedom of information. On my website, you know, I, I do these videos and I have some supporters through through Patreon and I also get a little bit of money from ads. Uh, but I also have a link on my website for PayPal and occasionally I get uh, donations through there. And it's just a very small amount here and there. And I cited a while ago that the money that goes to my PayPal account is, I'm saying that aside, to support other projects, usually free and open source software, uh, but also other projects I believe in, one of which is archive.org. I've supported them financially in the past. Today I got an email from them uh, informing me about something that's going on. One of the things, archive.org, if you've never been to it, go to the website. It's a great place for you to archive stuff and find stuff other people have archived to prevent stuff from being lost. You can archive websites. But one of the things they do is they digitally scan books and they have a library. It's 100% legit. Works just like a regular library. So books, especially older books that may not have digital copies, they scan them. They have the physical copies. They have them there. And then they put them up on their website. You can create an account for free and you can check out the book. And for every co physical copy they have, that's how many copies they can have checked at a time. You check it out. You can read it right in your browser. You can download it. When you're done, you return it and someone else can check it out. Well, there's some publishing companies going after them. They've hired some lawyers trying to sue them and stop them. And uh, this is not only important for archive.org, but we want to also make sure that archive wins this because it's very important. If they lose it, then th there's just this whole aspect of freedom of information that we're going to be losing. So I donated some money to them this morning, and I'm just asking you, if you have a little bit of extra change, you know, I would love for you to support me, but if you have a choice between supporting me and supporting them right now, I recommend that you uh, donate to them. So I'll put a link in the description of this video, but check that out. Think about supporting them. Uh, I think it's a great website, and I think this fight to keep the freedom of information free, because books are important for learning, and... Not everybody with these physical copies of books that don't have digital copies, not everyone has access to them. And that's why we have libraries. And the fact that they have this, that anyone from the internet can come and access it, create an account for free and check out these books. And it work again, it works just like a regular library. If they have a physical copy, they have it locked away somewhere and you check it out, you know, so you get a digital copy and uh, it's not hurting anybody because it's working just like a regular library. So if you believe in regular libraries, you should believe in this, and it's an important fight. So check it out. Link in the description. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope that you have a great day.